Hi, darling. Jenny, what's going on? I am here with Louise, Molly's away, and I'm packing for Australia and for America. So that's what's happening here? Yeah, there's a process to my thought process. Do you always pack in a sequin ball dress? No, I, I actually had thrown this on for something that I bought. You know we always look at temperature. Yeah. And what Louise and I have been doing is presuming that New York will be much colder than Australia because it's going into the summer in Australia and it's going into the winter in New York. But we're looking now, New York, I'm going in 10 days. Yeah. And in a week, it's going to be 20... 26 degrees we're looking at max. So it could be anything between 20 and 26 which is not coat weather no. and not jacket weather. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. If you look at Sydney, I mean, I know we're only looking in two weeks. On Sunday, it's 35 degrees, but then next Friday, it's 22. How I'm... are you going to do it, Trini? All right, what's Melbourne? 22 on Sunday, but then the following Friday, 14. What's Sydney two days ago? It's 29 degrees. So we're 14, 29. What's Perth? It ranged from 28, then it goes down to 18. Brisbane? That's staying consistent between 25 and 28. So there's nothing hitting 30, which is good. The other thing then I do is Louise and I go through the list mm -hmm. of things I go to. When I was there last year, what did I wear? I want to wear something different. At events, we have new people coming, but we also have people who come perhaps when I've last been there. And for their sake, I want to be in something new. I don't want to make the mistake wearing the same outfit that I wore. So we then look at the old Australia footage. We looked at pictures of my wardrobe because I can't remember what I was wearing on what day. I literally had this for a day with press and I had it for a day with press in Sydney before. So that's come out. If I look at this, it's, you know, I'm having supper. I've got a private dinner in New York. Then I've got a content day. I'm filming all day for the morning show, try event in the evening. So I need a smart dress. Then I'm doing all day press Tuesday, all day press Wednesday. All day press Thursday morning and I go out to London. So that's three days of press, a tribe event, and two appearances on the Today Show. So I need six outfits for New York. And your travelling outfit. And my travelling outfit. So let's start with that. Tribe event, I have thought, I'll do this, which you haven't even seen on yet. It's a, it's a new vampire's wife, which I did for a shoot. It's really, Look at it's that. really pretty. It's like a lame velvet. Wow. If I was wearing something like this, then I could do the blue I wore for my, wore for my book launch. I love the blue. Which would be fun. And then I'll take the other three options to uh, Australia okay. for the time event. So I'll do... Are you doing separate cases for each? So you'll come back? Yes, because I'm coming back. The rest oh. of the team are actually going from New York to Australia. But I'm coming back for one day to do Cheltenham Book Festival and then going to Australia. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. So I have this dress, which I've only worn... For your magazine shoot. My magazine shoot. On the hottest day I'll wear that. So oh, where's that from? Tempe. Really, this is Tempe. Yes. And for those of you who love that blue skirt I have, this is the um, the dress. But this could be New York, because when you're in the studio doing the Today Show, it's really hot. Is it's, it? Yeah, it can be really hot, even though they have air con. I could do this. Okay, so this is the skirt version of that dress. Yeah. So this feels a bit... Like it's too summery somehow. Mm. Also, the colours on telly, it's very soft pink. I just feel yeah. you need a strength of colour. I think when you're watching telly and a country is in October, yeah. you don't, this feels too summer. And I suppose the frame will be closely cropped to your face for a lot of the time, yeah. so it's just that you're working with. So what else are you thinking then? But I don't know now because i got to check. When I did it before, they had three women I made yes. over, but now I'm doing a different format because I'm doing pre-filming, I'm making over somebody, taking them around New York, and then the, there's a reveal. Probably it's going to be like this morning. So this isn't going to work. I'm going to take it off. Yellow dress. I got at Phoenix. This is a classic. When I see dresses like this, and it was £580 reduced to, it was such a good bargain. It was originally 520 then 300 then 200 £156 I got it for. And it's in Tree London Yellow. Trini, we need to go sail shopping when you're back. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is kind of quite raunchy sexy. I mean, mm. just like in the shape. It's very un-me. It's like I'm wearing... Louise is looking at me like I'm not knowing if she's saying it's bad or not. No, it's bad. I know that John will love it, whatever, all right? But that's very on me. With the top half's very you. Yeah, with this, I would do a kind of bow, or if I cut off the collar. Ooh, it looks so amazing, I Trini. I think I should take off the collar. I think it looks more expensive sometimes when you make it that clean break instead of that. 
I don't know. What do we yeah. what do we think? My focus is just here right now. Like yeah. I just think that's so cool. It is sexy, but I think it's elegant. I, I actually like the neck up. You do? Yeah. Fine, then let's do the neck up because I was asking your opinion and that's great. And then also I would lose the tie at the back. Then I'll put some silver on. What shoes? I think I'll just do the silver shoes. What country are we in now? Australia or New York? I think we're in New York. Okay. Do you think we're in New York? I feel like we're in New York. We could be in both. We could be in New York at the Tribe event. We could be in Australia at the Business Women's Dinner. But yeah. is that too much for Australia Business Women's Dinner? Are you sitting down at the dinner? <laughs> it's definitely somewhere in a suitcase. Tell you what I don't like about it is here, my bottom's really low, this is really high. Side view, it's not great. I mean, like, I was thinking, shall I take it in? But then it would be weird. I think I just have to have it like that and go with it. It's really cool from the front. Have you done it up? No. Oh, that would help. Do it up and then <laughs> see if it's... All right. Yeah. Yeah, but there's still, do you see that straightness? So, I see what you so mean, So when but... I have dresses, like, I usually never buy dresses like this because I have a lower bottom and this exaggerates how low my bottom is because that's when that starts. And if that's like that, it's maybe better because it nips in. So I might have to get a Susanna to put two darts here. Yeah, that does make a difference. It might make it better. All right, next for um, press. When I'm doing telly, I never wear white. It's just a rule. I always wear metallic or a deeper shade because on telly, the contrast is better. Is that your rule or a telly rule? It's my rule. <laughs> but I don't think people wearing white, if you are my skin tone on telly, I don't think it's the best thing. You could wear a bright red lip though, and then it might be all right. This is a dress from Bella Freud. And I love this dress, but again, the length is the length for me of a dress if I bought a real 70s vintage dress, it would be this weird length. If it was actually there, yeah. how much better that dress would be. And just how much more wearable. Because it's not long enough for me to wear full length. For you, it will be more wearable when you can see your ankles. Yes, because it could be more a day dress. So okay. I'll just wear it so that, you know, either I have that like that and that it's coming just to the... Like so how would you do that? Just take the hem up? I'm gonna, I've got a pal for a Susanna building out. But I think this is good for Australia. Back to New York. Daytime in New York, I could wear this if yes. it's 27. And if it went down weather-wise, we might be able to have a picture of me in this. Yeah, we did that for a packing video. And we it did. was great and it was good, transitional. Wasn't it? Yeah. And I think it needs the gold necklaces and the gold bracelets. So we can just remember that. I have this, which I really want to wear, which I put on with Louise just now. It's this from Bella Freud, it's a new suit, but I felt if it was hot, it's tricky. I'd be really hot. Ah, oh, this is my alternative. Just go mad neon with a trainer. You know, it's easy. I was on the sofa recently with that, wasn't I? Where was I No, on the sofa? you were at Elizabeth Day and you said it doesn't photograph well. I, you're right. It, so you, you were like, oh, right, well, yeah. But I, this is not about photographs. This is about being on telly and moving. I know what you're saying, though. Well, that's what really you said to point. me, so I thought I would... So you pass it on. I'm really pass it back, it. back to you. <laughs> so I asked Susanna to take out some of the widths because I think it was very A-line. I did it with my shoulder pads like that and it's a little less A-line. I sort of don't want to do it with this trainer because this is my idea that I'm wearing spring colors in New York. I love the lace. I love that it's your color. Yeah. And you just see a vision of yellow, don't you? And if I'm moving around doing makeup on somebody, it's very all angles, it's good. The only I'm wondering is if I have B.O. in the dress. No, I'm just smelling and I'm thinking, is that today? <laughs> Give her a sniff. <laughs> I am not going to ask Jemima to have a sniff. You can have a sniff. <laughs> right, so that's like, I think that's working. My hesitation to this is that it feels like it's really summer. But then it's summery weather. It's so hard, isn't it? There it is. I got to press in the hotel room. And we do tons of pictures. So I just want something that's really nice to photograph. I could do what I'm taking to Australia, which is this very on brand. This is a cost skirt, and this is a shirt that I got, oh, with Lila in Madrid, and it was oh. at this place and it was on sale. They couldn't be more perfect yellows together. Yeah. And what's great about this is I can sort of do that and do that. This is a really good on brand with drama. Yeah, that's great for photos. It's going to work. Do you feel this feels very summery? No. That just feels like I like yellow. Yeah. 
So this is New York and Australia. It's a great outfit to have pictures in. It's a good, yeah, it is. One press day sorted. We're nearly there. I've got a press breakfast on a Thursday. Ah, then I've got this new combination that I wore today for a book signing in London, which is this trouser with the shirt and the jacket. And I feel that's going to be great in a hotel room just doing press. Those colours are amazing yeah. together. We'll go back to Australia, by the way. Okay. And this <laughs> I love as well with just that white and gold moment. And I'm going to get my new gold shoes, hopefully, and I'm going to make the trousers shorter, take my little things that make them balloon pants and put this new gold shoe. I mean, I could do something like that with the jeans for the press breakfast, Louise. That look great with your pale blue jeans. Yeah, I could do that. That's so fun. It was this jean which I got from Marge, and it was, I'm wanting to have a floppy jean and just do that as a look. I love that. And if you imagine these shoes, I know they are quite floppy, these yeah, jeans. Yeah, but I like that. I sort that. of like the floppiness. And if I have my shoulder pad top underneath, really crucial here that it's not an open toe. Why? You, I just think you need that sexy, stiletto-y moment. And, the point. and I don't know if these shoes are going to work with the trouser that I've ordered, but I'll show you. Do you see there's no heel yeah. at the back? It's very weird. Just crazy shoe. But this is so, like, I'm not taking hand luggage now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will be your hand luggage. <laughs> it's a little too much. It, I think there's a lot going on with that. You're looking at the top, you're looking at, you, you know. I know. If, if I had the confidence in my ankles, I would go for those shoes and not worry about it at all, because I haven't got the shoes here. So I'm kind of half loving this and I don't want to get you and think that's so wrong. So I have to think of an alternative. So this is old Arlington 21. And then I was going to do like a big trainer. I like this though. And the other thing is, I, I was saying to Louise, I feel a cut is coming upon me at this top because I did have a half cut. An unsuccessful one, you'll see. Yes. It didn't really work out. So if I actually had it so that it was sort of cut to there and then went down like that makes my back look long i love that from the front though from the front it does work you know we often talk about kind of disguising where something starts and stops but this works so well with it st stopping at the waist if i cut this i won't get back i need to get Susanna to take that up is it better that you can see the jeans or is it better that i have them in I liked the first way that you did it when it was sloped down because that just feels quite boxy. Yeah, it does. And I feel like you've got kind of like a silver jacket if you did want to go boxy. I feel this lives well in a wide leg trouser where you don't see the bottom of my bottom. So this, in a way, is kind of what I'd do it with if it's cold weather. So let me put these on. This is more elegant. Yeah. yeah. You can really see the sleeve a little bit more. Yeah, and... you can, can't you? It's, it lets the top have its moment. Yes. And then at the back, if I tuck it all in, I feel that's very mumsy. Would you do a half tuck? And then if you had it out at the back, where are the trousers from? These are um, Bella Freud mm. last year. The, the back is a bit weird. I think that's just the trouser. Yeah, I don't know. You think they look all right, the trousers? Yeah. Do you really? I think because you're, you're going to be moving. All right, the other thing we could do, because I like the waistcoat of these trousers, if it's 22 degrees, I would do this. Something sleeveless with the waistcoat and somehow some shimmer. This is, I think, wolf and badger. Now, the one thing about this, I couldn't wear this for Teddy because even though I have a bra on, it is a bit nipply central. I tuck those into my pants like that so that it's like a body. Yeah. I haven't worn this before, and I think if I had this, I'd have to think, how do I make sure the shoulders don't, you know, that stays like yes. that. But I quite like shininess of this mm. and then if we have the waistcoat yeah cool huh that feels so right because it's not summery it's not summery i'm wearing a trainer which has a lightness to it i think the silver's great i've covered my nips it's quite nice to talk i was going to get rid of this polar neck you think i should keep it yeah yeah and then i can always tuck it in if i want to mm. Be an issue. That. Mm. What I'll have to do is I'll have to. I think you could just safety, safety pin. pin. Yeah. And it would be like that. Yeah. I have it pinned like that, and then I pull it out. You see that little tweak of just yes. a bit more. This stretches a lot, so I need to just do this. Pin it under there. Mm. I do love it undone though. I feel like you, you can like just undone, see a bit more silver. And I think you feel cool in that trinity. Yeah, I do feel cool in this. I feel chic and cool. If it's suddenly cold in New York, I would probably just travel in this. <laughs> you know, be like that. 
Of course, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I just come in like that and you, you know, it sort of feels glamorous. And the alternative would be that I'd wear a sequin jacket, which I'm going to try now. Like that. What do we say on? I think the coat. Yeah. Do you? Really, more than this. I am going through a little transition to my of what I think is me. I think we can all do this when the season changes and it makes us question everything that we bought and whether we like it still. And things might still suit me, but is that the person I want to be? And how do you feel about what you're wearing now? I think it's, this if it's like really hot day in New York would be great because it's not in too summery a colour. And then I have a very old Kinder jacket, which, because it's so old, I think I find this outfit a bit old-fashioned because I've had this oh. jacket for about yeah. 17 years. But then that means it's classic. It is totally classic, but is it modern classic? Because I'm not totally classic as a person. No. I need that twist. I think it's perfect, that, because they're so comfy as well. Yeah. I'm just going back to Australia now. I love this dress so much. And do I still feel that printness of what this dress is? I love this dress because of the back, mm. and I think it's yeah. summery, but it depends on the weather, I guess. Yeah. Because you've got an open back, but it's long sleeve. Yeah, it has pockets. It's a very comfortable, I mean, I can walk around in this dress. I think this is a great dress that's a backup dress for something. I'm very self conscious of my back. I just want to say we shared this before, but I have a curved spine, so I'm slightly like a dinosaur here, you know, and I'm very aware of that showing. I like that this covers it. It's so pretty. It's pretty, isn't it? This is my runaround dress. Yeah. Your run dress. Or a press day dress when I don't know what else to wear and John can do great makeup. Yeah. We're back to Australia. They have a different vibe from my other ones I've tried on. So I'm just going to show you. I've got that, which is could be, I think, a businesswoman's dinner as well. You're going to be changing three times. No, but I mean, <laughs> anyway. You can see a picture of it now. One other thing, which I do feel actually I would do in New York, was this. Yeah. I was walking around New York on the weekend and it was like 20 degrees. <laughs> um, thanks, Dad. So I just like the little bit of white poking through. Yes. Like that. I felt that was just a very nice mm. look. I like seeing it with yellow. I often yeah. just see it with the other leopard print. Exactly, so I, I like that on my weekend in New York. Yes. And then, do we like that as a look? Yeah. Yeah, really it's nice. Sunday. I'm thinking when I'm doing vintage shopping with Chloe or something. That's really, yeah, I love this. Yeah? Yeah. I it's think it's cool. cool. So it, and then, do you know what? Me and Anne might look nice with that. Yeah. It might give it something. It might give it a new lease of life. Should we have a look? Hmm. I really like that, Trini. You don't prefer, I prefer the, the, um... The Kinder. No. I like the floppiness of the lot, but I think I prefer the leopard. Agreed. The yellow. Oh, yeah. I think the leopard with the yellow is better than this. This is suddenly made it granny. So the fundamental difference is doing... We'll ignore that. <laughs> doing sequin with satin. Yes. It feels granny. Yeah. But doing the sequiny with the bright yellow and the leopard muted fabric feels more modern. This doesn't feel modern. So you'd still wear the outfit, but not with the jacket? No, Are we going to take the outfit? Are we going to take the outfit? i got to be candid. I'm going to a stage now of mental brain fatigue. I haven't felt we got there. It's the most dissatisfying packing moment. I know I'll get there. I'm halfway through, can't see the wood for the trees. Lost a sense of which outfits are for what. <laughs> and it's just been a long day. So I think I'm going to take a break now and the way you'll know exactly what I've taken to each location is to watch probably my unpacking videos yes. in the locations I'm going to. Well, we've loved seeing your process, Trini, so thank you. And I'm very excited to see your outfits when you get there. All right. Bye. Bye.